हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू इंसर्ट अ नोड इन अ लिंक लिस्ट सो लेट्स सी द एग्जांपल्स फॉर इंसर्टिंग अ नोड इन अ लिंक लिस्ट देयर आर थ्री केसेस द फर्स्ट केस इज इफ वी इंसर्ट द नोड एट द स्टार्ट द सेकेंड केस इज वी हैव टू इंसर्ट द नोड समवेर इन द मिडल and the last case is inserting a node at the end so these are the three cases i will show you one by one if we want to insert the node at the start then just the next pointer of the new node should point to the head of our linked list original linked list this is the head of our original linked list and the new node next pointer points to the head of the original linked list and now the new node is the head node of the linked list so this is how we insert the node at the start now we have to insert the node in between c and d so how do we do that so whenever we insert the node in between two nodes then the pointer from first node to second node changes to point to the new node the pointer from c will point to the new node and the next pointer of new node will point to d i will write it the other way the next pointer will point to d yes so this is how we insert the node in the somewhere in the middle now the last case inserting the node at the end so the last node which points to null will point to the new node and the new node next pointer will point to null so this is how we insert the node at the end now let's see the program let's see the pseudo code for all the three cases so first is inserting node at the start so as you know i will execute the code on the first case so this is the new node and this is the linked list so new node points next equal to head the first sentence says that the next pointer of new node should point to head of the original linked list and then the head pointer points to new node which means that the new node becomes the head of the linked list the new node becomes the head now the second case inserting node in the middle so when we insert the node in the middle if pointer p is pointing to the head of the linked list that is a a is the head of the linked list so it is the pointer p which is pointing to the head then first p should reach up to the insert position so here c is pointing to d and this new node is the node which we want to insert so we have to reach up to c so the pointer p have to reach up to c which is why here is this loop while p is not equal to that insert position insert position is c means ahead of c we want to insert the new node so when we reach to the insert position then we break out of the loop till we get the insert position we continue p equal to p points next and when p is equal to equal to insert position we come out of the while loop now 
P is pointing to C. Now we have to store the address of D in some pointer because when we delete this link and we make this pointer point here, we lose the address of D. How can we track D after making the pointer of C to point to new node? We lose that address. So we have to store address of D. This was the original situation. So we have to store the address of D into a pointer which is named as store next. So store the next pointer of C and then you can delete this pointer and you can make the pointer next pointer of P to point to new node now. Now this pointer can point to new node and we have stored the address of the next node of C. Now new node points next equal to store next. So the next pointer of this new node will point to the store next that is D. This is how we insert a node in a linked list somewhere in the middle that is in between two nodes. Let's go to the third condition, third case. See if we want to insert this node here then see this was the original situation and now we want to insert the node at the end. Then obviously as this is the head and P is pointing to the head we have to reach up to the end. So while P points next is not equal to null means this node until this node P have to go forward. So when P reaches here P points next is equal to null and we come out of this while loop. Till that we do P equal to P points next. When we reach to that node, we come out of the while loop and then we do P points next equal to new node. So this link we join to the new node. This link we join to the new node and obviously the next pointer of new node should be null. So the next pointer of new node we attach to null. So this is how we insert a node in a linked list and these are the three cases for that. Thank you. Hey friends, please subscribe to my channel as I post algorithm videos every day. And if you want a video on any particular topic, then please mention in the comment below. Thank you.